so after the first three matches here on semi-finals day in the HSBC BWF World Tour Super 300 in Barcelona, we're now ready for our second semi-final in men's doubles. That is uh, from Thailand, Bodin Isara and Manipong Jongjit against uh, from Japan, Akira Koga and uh, Taichi Saito. Here is um, the men's doubles draw, and if you were with us earlier, you would have seen Kim Ki Jung and Lee Yong Dae easily book their spot in the uh, final tomorrow. Koga and Saito have had a little bit more difficult way three games yesterday and in the second round as well against uh, Sifei Go and Nuris Sudin of um, Malaysia whilst uh, Isara and Jungjit have been perfect so far all straight game victories so just waiting to uh, get the players on court Sara leading the way. Manipong Jongjit after him. to uh, serve and uh, I think the Malaysians chose to stay on uh, the side that they already had their backs on. Here is uh, Manipong Jongjit, 27 years of age. Uh, here's his partner, the left-hander Bodin Isara. He's also 27 years of age. Comes from uh, Bangkok. Has been as high as um, seven in the world in January 2013 competed together as juniors these two players <laughs> and his partner Manipong Jongjit from Phuket Currently ranked 83 in the world and 54 on the uh, World Tour ranking. As you saw earlier, the best career result was the uh, 2012 India Open win where they beat Ko Sung Hyun and Jo Yun Song in the final. Here you can see the road to uh, the semi final. Comfortable straight game wins and benefiting from. The withdrawal of Ivanov Sosanov in uh, the final, uh, sorry, in the first round. Here is um, Akira Koga from uh, Fukuoka in uh, Japan, attacked by insects apparently there. 121st. On the ranking, they formed um, their partnership in 2014 in Osaka and withdrew from Bonnie Masters in 15 and then first shows up again in 2018 in Austrian International. Ready, Here's right? his partner, Teichi Saito, 
from Tokyo. 172 meters of height. And this is their best career result, reaching a semi-final in uh, a Super 300. Of course, a lot of history with um, Jongjit and uh, Bodhi Nisara, the incident in 2013, where they had a fight at the uh, Canadian Open and Nisara was banned for two years and Jongjit for three months. Eventually, and gentlemen, on my right, they're back together, Sada, and that's good Manipal, because they're Jongi, really, really talented players, Thailand. both of them. And on my left, Akira Koga, Taichi Saito, Japan. Taichi Saito to serve to Manipong Jongjit. So, ready to find the uh, opponents for uh, Kim and Lee in uh, tomorrow's final. Manipong Jongjit originally oh. retired in 2015 due to a shoulder injury that he couldn't really get rid of. So it's uh, good to see him uh, back on the tour as well. Service over. And they were so talented when they first emerged in 2011-2012. Uh, Fantastic <laughs> smash from Bodhi Nisara. So Very so powerful. Three, two. Oh. Had a period in 2016 where he created good results with uh, Nipit Thun Puang Puapech, reached the final of uh, Denmark uh, Premier wow. Series at that time and French Super Series. Lost both of them. But um, really, really a dangerous player when he's uh, in form. Very great. I always thought Manipong was a creative, imaginative player, but uh, Bodhini Sara is perhaps even more. John did, of course, the uh, World Junior Gold medalist in 2009 in mixed doubles with uh, Chuta Bundikut. Time beat Anga Pratama and Della Destiana Harris. So, definitely two very, very talented uh, players. And two from Thailand. Service over. Five, four. Smash. Six, five. Great placement on the right hip of uh, Jongjit. Kila Koga first um, emerged in the 
Japanese junior champ, world championship team that uh, won the silver in Shiba. They lost the decider back Five. then. And mixed doubles against Wang Yilu and a certain Chen Ching Chen, 22-24. That year they had won the Asian Junior Team Championships. They won this match in that occasion. Service over. Six, seven. Behind the back. Oi, it's gone long. Not a whole lot of um, green mats Nine, on the six. sides. Twenty six shots. And if the Japanese can uh, really get their defense going, then it can make it difficult for uh, Jongji Denisara. He was so focused on uh, the short one. Eight, Taichi Saito. Ten. Oh, something in between that served there. It's gone wide and. Uh, after only six minutes of play, it's 11-8 for Koga and Saito here in the first game interval. Resume play with uh, Bodhini Sarah to Bolle. receive. Get spotted by the umpire. Salaberg. On that, so we should turn Jung Jit. Oh. 
I wonder if it got long and <laughs> he left it, uh, Koga. It's like he couldn't get out of the way. Excellent. He's got a lot of strappings on his uh, right shoulder, Akari, Akira Koga, but um, hopefully just precaution because um, very nice smash there. Cushion for uh, Koga and Saito. A bit about um, whether it's the imaginative uh, play and uh, the creativity of uh, Sarah and Jungjit that is going to prevail, or it's the uh, concept and uh, Solidity of uh, Saito and uh, Koga. 12 14. Service over. Saito just checking uh, outside the picture. Saito just checking the replay on the uh, screen here in um, the uh, Olympic Center in uh, Val de Bron. White decides to take it. Oi! That was a bit lucky as uh, the Japanese players were in line in the backhand corner. Look at that. And Jungjit uh, misses uh, the cross net drop. Here's Karl Meineke. So far, he must be satisfied. Pressure after the oh. service situation. There's uh, Jungji then. Uh, Isara. But not here. Situations again with the backhand corner net. Perhaps it was better that uh, Koga move forward. Adventurous uh, defensive stance from uh, Isara, but uh, no luck so far, and uh, five point advantage for Saito and uh, Koga. They've been efficient in this first game. Oh. 
Excellent defense. <laughs> None of the Thai players uh, sort of went for that one. Isara says, I, I've used all my power, and uh, Jungji says, I can't reach that anyway. points and a good flicker <laughs> very focused on the short service returns so uh, Taichi Saito Game points survived by uh, Manipong Jongjit and uh, Bodhi Nisara. And uh, wisely enough, Akira Koga just uh, towers down. Just uh, getting their thoughts together, the uh, two players still holding game points. Excellent play, fantastic save. But it's gone long. It hasn't gone long, it's gone wide. point left. We survived five, but uh, six was one too many, and uh, after 15 minutes of play, Taichi Saito and Akira Koga strikes first and takes the first game 21-19. So we got um, second game underway here. The task is for these two men to uh, come back. They're one game down after um, dominant uh, first game by Saito and uh, Koga. The way I saw it, even though the score was was pretty close, but um, still have to use six game points to get it done so you can ask yourself whether they will get a little bit um, tensed if they're about to uh, win here or if um, 
perhaps Jongjit and Isara can um, up their game. Uh, this time he was ready for the flicker. Side top. Two, one. And they played uh, six tournaments this year. Of course, beginning with the um, Austrian uh, international, as I mentioned. Lost the first round there. And, uh, best over. result so far is a uh, quarterfinal in the oh. Kita Masters. Lost to Li Xingmu and Lin Cheyu. Definitely a positive um, performance Whoa. from Saito and uh, Koga. Three, two. It's a little late on that one. Uh, Side, so I wonder if those two flick serves have um, sort of halted his uh, attack on the short services a little bit. Five, and that's five. exactly, in my opinion, the, the chance of, for uh, Jongji and Isara try to keep the rallies uh, complicated, try to. Uh, get an advantage in the uh, service situation and uh, service over. Three, go for the points five. there I think in the longer rallies Saito and uh, Koga has the advantage seem to be more solid in their defense Catching uh, Seven, Saito three. and Koga out of position at the moment, Isara and uh, Jongjit. Oh. And they're benefiting from it. Oi, 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 oi. What happened there? He tripped. Eight. Three. Oi. I think he slipped on. Uh, the uh, white letters behind the court. Sometimes if you go around the side of the shoe, it gets a little bit um, slippery. And they're rushing off to a six-point lead here. Isara and Jongjit. the game they want. Experienced pair from Thailand. Oh. Yeah, well played. Service over. Not trying too much to uh, attack within the rally. Wants to uh, win in the uh, flat game. The transition state between attack and defense. It's the longest rally of um, the match so far, I think, 33 shots. Four, nine. <laughs> Play. Oh. Five, Really 
be going for those uh, short services, Jung Jin. What would happen if he would be flicked himself? Stays in. Service over. Excellent Five tactical needle. play by Isara and uh, Jongjit. And the six point lead at the uh, mid game interval here. They're one game down though. So can they continue the good start they got to this uh, second game? 11, 5. Manipan Jungjit and uh, Borin Isara. 11, 5 up. Excellent read by uh, Koga. Shouting out, I think it would have gone long. Played the Olympics in uh, 2012. Did um, service over? Jungji and Isana lost in the quarterfinal. Seven, twelve. To uh, Ku and Ten, but they won the group. Leading amongst others, Ko Sung Hyun, Yoo Young Sung, and uh, well, my son, Pona Saptano. Defense from uh, Manipong Jungjit, but also uh, Kulga showing that hey, we can penetrate. Sara utilizing the uh, right hand left hand combination Eight. and then they'll take the chance if the smash opportunity is uh, good enough if it doesn't have the correct length they've complicated the game here in the second um, Isara and Jongjit. And they have an advantage. Now seven point up. Oi, fantastic return from uh, Koga. It's 
gone long. What a return on the service. Almost from below left Sixteen. shoulder, he plays a Eight. drop shot. And that's not the one we're seeing. We're seeing that little hold and flick that's gone too long. started thinking about um, an eventual decider the two uh, players on the far side of the court Koga and uh, Saito yeah. the, the, the Thai players they're not going to smash from the back court they know that's not going to win them anything against uh, the Japanese defense There was a good enough chance. The transition states and the lift from uh, Koga got too short. Eighteen, eight. 25 shots. It's gone long. It's a classic example of um, 19, getting the game to be played where you have the advantage. Gives it a whack. Pulling this R up. As uh, point eight. the Japanese pair have um, more or less um, surrendered this uh, second game. game. So 21 9, 21 8. Big fun for. Uh, Isara and Jongjit. And we have our first um, decider here on uh, our TV court today after the interval. So, ready for the third and uh, final game of this semi-final in men's doubles. Koga and Saito took the first game 21-19 and uh, great comeback by uh, Jongjit and Isara who uh, got the game going in the uh, transition phase in the flat game and took the second 21-8. Excellent uh, kill by uh, Jongjit, but also a bit of a risky shot, this one from Koga. Why not just lift it? He knows that uh, if Isara decides to smash, they, uh, they have a good enough defense to survive. Sometimes losing in this 
flat game with basically no lifts it takes away your confidence as well in, in the defense. Again, controlling the uh, service situation, uh, Manipong Jungjit. going all out in his uh, smashes when he decides to smash Bordi Nisara who also competed in um, the Olympics in Rio in 2016 after his um, two-year suspension in 2013 he came back back to the uh, national team and uh, played mixed doubles with Savitri Amitra Pai qualified for the Olympics and uh, lost in the group stage back then with the gold and silver medalist to be, so they had a tough task. Excellent read. Excellent play, fantastic dive by Isara, but uh, Akira Koga, he is just so alert on the front court here. What a great rally that was. I'm surprised that they're continuing playing this um, flat, fast-paced um, game, Saito and uh, Koga. Powerful smash. He's got Teichi. Saito, much better off in regular play. Either all-out attack or all out defense. Needs to avoid the uh, server situation and the flat game. So it looks uh, at least at the moment. seem to find the solution Kogan and uh, Saito can't find the key to uh, the playing style of uh, Isara and uh, Jongjit 
Well played. Seems like they're afraid of lifting um, Kogan sides away. I don't understand why. It's true that uh, Isara has created some opportunities once in a while with his uh, power smash, but if they get that back, the grass is greener on smash number two. Move him. Yeah. Five point advantage for uh, Jongjit and Isara going into the change of ends at the interval here in the third game. Great interception by uh, Jongjit and follow up by Isara. Earlier this year, here in Spain, actually, but that was in uh, Madrid. Reached the final of the uh, Spanish International. Did the Isara and Jongjit lost that final to Frederick Kahlberg and uh, Joachim Fischer Nielsen of Denmark in uh, three games. And then reached the semi in uh, the Super 500 on home soil in uh, Bangkok and quarterfinal in Singapore Open. Yeah. Sneaked in from the left there, Manipong Jongjit. Sarah looked at the uh, linesman on the uh, back line. Definitely white. Got a pace with the Koga and Saito here in the flat game. I don't think they um, certainly get the advantage in that department. The flicker to uh, Isara and that gave the advantage. Need 
do the same to uh, Jungji. There's a flicker. Excellent defense by Bodhi Nisara and the follow up by Jungjit and the eye for the game. The read is just fantastic. Something that doesn't go away easily. Sitting defense and it's gone long. Challenge from uh, Koga. I don't think he'll be successful. Here's the sitting defense. He simply misses it. Uh, Chong Jit, he was trying to return it. It's called long. So, unsuccessful challenge. Matches uh, slipping away from uh, Koga and uh, Saito. I think they played so well in uh, in the first game, but uh, the change in strategy from uh, Isara and Jongjit so far done a lot of damage to uh, the Japanese hopes of uh, the final berth. Six points adrift, and I feel that something's going to happen. Soon, if they are to have a chance to come back. Again, Koga plays into the net, but uh, immediately Jongjit takes control. Absolutely dominant. Isara and Jongjit in the uh, last two games. Yes. Just playing downwards, not with a lot of power. And that smash means. Eight match points for uh, Jungjit and uh, Isara to uh, enter their second final in uh, Spain in three months' time. And there it is. They've done it. After losing the first game. They came back to win it. Used all their experience. 
creative flat game skills. That interception from uh, Jongjit sealed the deal. They will face uh, Kim Ji Jung and uh, Lee Young Dae in tomorrow's final. Here's confirmation of the score in three games 19 21, 21 8, 21 12, and 48 minutes of play. Quite convincing uh, victory, uh, in my opinion. The last two games, the Japanese didn't really bring anything that could uh, win them the match. So, look forward to see them in the final tomorrow. Manipong Jongjit and Bolinisara.